Hello everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Brenda and David. Today, I want to make a version of my mama's vegetable soup. Now I'm going to use some fresh vegetables, of course she usually used the canned ones that we had canned, and some fresh ones, and then some out of a can like this. I looked everywhere for some frozen peas. They didn't have any yesterday, so I am going to have to use that out of a can, and I'm going to use my own tomatoes that I can and some tomato juice and vegetables. So, Did, I, um, sorry to interrupt, but uh, say, uh, she always made us, but always had mostly fresh. Well, she had stuff we canned. All right. We canned, we right. gardened. Me first, no, get through yonder, go, get, get. This is the bad kitty bottle. It only has water in it. Well, and so, <laughs> it's a nice cold rain out there, like it's on the edge of freezing. And she's got no business going out there. The foxes and well, the coyotes have been running around a lot. So. Yeah, I heard one the other night out here. So, um, anyway, I want to thank everybody for the beautiful Christmas cards and the sympathy cards and everything that you've sent. And if you left a phone number, I'll be calling you. And thank you for the money order and the checks. And I will be sending you a card out. Um, it's been real hard to lose mommy. I was at the hospital for a month every day, early morning till late night, trying to help her. And I left her to come home because my daughter was going to stay and I hadn't been gone but a couple hours and she called for me to come back and mommy was gone. But she had a DNR in place so her heart quit. And I, I feel like maybe she drowned it because I, just then I had seen her legs and stuff were swollen. And I'm like, I asked her RN, I said, what, uh, did she get her Lasix today? And she said, well, he's only giving her one every other day. I said, you're kidding me. She takes two a day. She takes it twice a day. So I couldn't understand her real good and I got the nurse to get in touch with the doctor but he hadn't got back yet. So I told my daughter and by the time he still hadn't got back, but it was on the weekend, it was Christmas Eve when she passed away. So thanks to all the prayer and the condolences, we really appreciate it. Well, you've had a hard time. Um, she passed away Christmas Eve. We went and made funeral arrangements we come back that night, 10 o'clock at night, I started throwing up and diarrhea nonstop. Five o'clock in the morning, I ended up in the ER, getting IV and all, and Brenda so wore out, she couldn't even hardly take me down there. I vomited all the way down there. And so the next night, she gets the same thing I got. Oh gosh, I was too sick to go to the ER. I was and, just too weak to even crawl to the car, so. So then we couldn't, Brenda couldn't make it to her mother's funeral. So That I, was really hard. It's been real hard here in the last few weeks. It's, it's been probably the hardest I've ever seen in a long time anyway. So probably since my mother died. But thank everybody for all the comments. I mean, that's, it's, it's unbelievable. You know, the, the nice comments and the prayers. I don't think we would have made it without those prayers. I really, I, don't I really do believe that. Um, I've answered a lot of them. I know Brenda ain't had a chance for to say it felt like it. You from know, England to, to Hawaii to yeah. Maine, everywhere. It's, it's just praying. just unbelievable. The YouTube family, it's just unbelievable. You know, and we're so fortunate and grateful to have or have you folks. Um, the cards and letters. Uh, I really don't think you know, I could have made it without prayer. Nah, I think nah. Christian people handle things nah. differently. You know, there's no way. I mean, I, I can feel feel the love and the prayer when I was reading those. It was hard for a while there to go through some of them. I just randomly answered a few here and there, you know, just trying to do a few, you know, while you was, you know, out. And and then I got to the next few days later, I got to do some more. Got a little bit. It, got, it gets a little better, you know. And so here we are. We're going to give this thing a whirl tonight. There's no way we could have done this last week. No, I don't think so. Nah. It's hard enough right now. I know, I know. But we, we got to get back to real life. And yeah. Well, we've talked about it. We're going to. This I know is, I'm going to see both of them again someday. 
we've talked a lot about this. We know this is going to be a hard show, and we're going to do the best we can with it. This is a hard show. We'll make it through it, you know, and, and, uh, and it's just so hard to get over it. And, you know, if you think about it, you get upset, you know. Okay, I think I'm ready. All right. Now, did your mom have a name for this uh, stew? Or she always called it vegetable soup, but she puts hamburger in hers, and okay. uh, she always made some cornbread to go with it. I'm sure I will too. If we don't eat it, my granddaughter will. They love mom. Everybody loves mommy's cornbread. Yeah. Sometimes that sometimes people would get in touch with her when my sister operated this store. They'd want to know who made the cornbread for it when she had chili beans and soup and stuff like that in her deli. And they told her my mom done it. And there was for a long time how mommy was able to get around better. She was making cornbread for a bunch of people. Yeah, it was an old country store your sister ran. Yeah. yeah, and she'd say, no, I don't want anything for it. And they're like, you got to take it. Your ingredients were not free. Yeah, but she was a given person. Mm -hmm. Her and Bill both was. Oh, yeah. Daddy would give the shirt off his back. And mommy would too, but daddy was... Daddy never had anything when they were young, and they barely got a pair of shoes every year. There was a lot of them. I understand it was that. was about 13 or so of uh, them, and, and uh, so he, you know, he didn't have anything. We got him all kinds of stuff, but he'd always let somebody have it or sell it or something. He just wanted a little money in his pocket, you know, and. But uh, he took good care of mommy while he was living, and then when he was gone, we took good care of mommy and just done the best we could with it. Well, so. He was a heck of a hard worker, and he worked all the way up to a couple of weeks before he passed away. He really did. It was actually I mean, about two months because he yeah. gotten, you know, the prostate had gotten really bad in that area, yeah. so the I cancer mean, he, was all over him, but now there had gotten really, How old really, was he? He was like 80, wasn't he? 86. 86, he I mean. He turned 86 in August and still doing the grocery shopping and everything. He's still working, driving that big old truck. That dump truck. Yeah. David took a picture of him. It's on one of our videos in that dump yeah. truck. And yeah, he he was a tough one, I'll tell you that. Yes, I mean, he really most is. people be a miracle to even make it anywhere near that age, you know. And your mama, she was a loving, giving person. And I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss her. You know, I do. I miss her so bad. I miss her not getting on to me about going to the doctor. I wouldn't get, never go to the doctors, but here lately I've been going, but, you know, I wouldn't ever go and she'd get on to me. She and, always got on to him and take care of your medical. It's just going to get bad on you if you don't do it now. You have everything to do at once. And he finally yeah. got started. His mommy stayed on him about the flu shot all the time. And I don't know if this is going to be enough green beans or not, but I've already washed them. I just wanted to show you what I'm doing. I took the ends off of them. I'm just breaking them all in smaller pieces. And my hands are clean. I don't think my tears are all that dirty. I miss calling mommy so bad. Oh, that's the hard part right there. Me and mommy talk every day, sometimes three or four times a day. And I know, I filled your car up full of gas and everything so you won't never be low in case you have to run up. That's funny, you drive it too, don't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sometimes. You drive it too. Mostly I drive the old truck. I had to pull the tailpipe off of it. It was dragging the ground, so I'm going to have to... He's got several trucks and I used the car for a truck. I got That's two. Up. Two trucks. Well, you got more that don't run. You don't have running. Don't you? Saving them for spares. So. <laughs> <laughs> spares. One of them's our age. Uh, it's older. A spare. <laughs> well, no, I was born in 59 and you were born in 63. I'm older than him. <laughs> Women mature faster, I think. <laughs> this was not even a half a pound of beans, I doubt. I don't know if it'll be enough. I have to, might have to add some to it. Out of a can. I don't want to, but I might have to. Because I certain things I like in mine, which is a lot of different vegetables. How often would she make this just every once you in a while? You know, in the winter time, and especially she'd get the craving it, buddy, and then we'd have it. And it was always cheaper if she wanted to use meat. And a lot of times she did, because Daddy wasn't going to eat it unless it had some meat in it. I understand. And David's a lot like that, too. He just ain't going to eat vegetables. 
He'll eat anything I give him, but he's not gonna eat a lot of it without something. And this hamburger tires up real bad, but it don't matter. It's still there, you got the taste. Now there's me some water. So you got I gotta any, let these fresh this, beans cook a little bit. So you got? Is there any ingredients to all this, or just kind of like just do it by the what you feel like? And I well, mean, I. I, you can put whatever you want to in your vegetable soup. That's all there is to it. Anything you want. If you don't like onions, don't put onions. If you don't like a bell pepper, don't put it. I love lots of carrots and potatoes. And I love a lot of both of those. It's good with this beef flavoring type stuff. And I always put these beef bouillon cubes in my can find them. They're here somewhere. That's what happens right there. Let's put the lid on there so it doesn't fall in there. They're shorter. They're shorter. I still need to move these things. I, I hate to move them all the way over across the room, but I don't know anything else to do. Oh, well, I'll get them out in just a minute. So, what I was looking for was some salt. I'll just use this one. Pink salt. Pink? Yeah. Pink Himalayan salt. Now I don't know how much I'm going to put. It's going to be depending on how much you... And I'll taste this a little later because, you know, I'll be adding juices and everything to it. So I'll probably have to add some more. So really, no recipes. It's kind of like, just kind of go with... I mean, yeah. I could say put a half a cup of salt yeah. when you only cook two cans and that would be way too much, yeah. you know. Enough to amount to two jars. And when we get tired of this, if we don't eat it all, I'll put it right there in the jar. Yeah, you, you can can soups. And it probably wouldn't be a good, be good it would be a good idea for two folks to can soups and stuff, you know. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing. Yeah. These things are handy. I like them. I really like them. The way prices has gotten. And I'm going to put something over that because I don't... cubes are here somewhere. They used to be anyway. I see ya. I could have swore they were right here. Maybe I used them. I don't think so, but... I'm gonna move these. I need to move them over a little bit anyway. Well, I don't see my boy on. Uh, there's chicken ones. They're there somewhere. Do you want me to pause it for a minute? Yes, please. Hey, it's back on, but it's blurry for some reason. Yep. Something's wrong with the the camera. It's always something the other. Is it blurry? Yeah. I don't know what's going on there. Let me stop it for a second. Oh, it seems like it's okay now. You gotta watch everything. You are you gonna put your couple of them things in there? Yeah, them I'll cubes. Put two or three of them because I don't use a lot of butter and stuff in here, but I like this beefy flavor in my soup. Did she do that too? You know what? It was so funny. For a long time she didn't, but Grandma did, and that's where I picked it up as my grandmother, Mommy's mother. Mm -hmm. And Mommy might have, if she had them, she probably did. She didn't have to. Hers always tastes good anyway. Mine would too, but I just, you know, I don't know if that's enough green beans or not. I don't think it is, but we'll see. I'll just wait and see. Uh, <laughs> it's a good thing I wear these aprons. I wipe everything on them. And I like these things here. Though. I haven't seen that other How apron she used to wear. In three? I don't know what paint. You just have to see what you think when you're juices and stuff. I, I use chicken and beef ones at times. Like if I make dumplings, I like them a little stronger. So I use them like that. It's a nice cold rain out there. It's on the verge of sleeting. Mm -hmm. So a night's night for a good night for some It's always supposed to be rainy soup. today. I don't think tomorrow it is. Okay, I'm going to let these beans cook about 30 minutes and I'll be back. Well, wait a minute. I'm going to show you something else I'm going to do here. Let me... Peel this one potato 
potato. Potato. What's a potato? A potato. I call them taters. I call them taters too. Let's pick some taters. You've already done some of those, haven't you? Yes. But I just wanted to show them what I was going to do. Peel them however you peel them. I thought I'd use this because my knives are so dull. Except for the big one. I don't peel with that big one. Yeah, I was wondering. I ain't never seen you use that thing before. I've got several of these things. You got to have a knife available. Oh. I'm going to put you a little knob on that drawer I was going to do it yesterday. Yeah, it's hard to get that thing out there. I know. It's all. It's a, I like to have a dollar every time that thing's been pulled in and out. Well, I don't want a big old knob sticking out. Just put one like. Yeah, I got one down there. on that maybe. Something similar yeah. to that or whatever. It I got matter. something down there. Anything I can pull it with. I'll show you a couple of them. You can make a decision. But what I'm doing is I'm going to. Let these soak a little bit in cold water because I don't, you know, get some of the bad out. This one has a lot of boo-boos that needed to have a knife. I guess but, you could use sweet potatoes, couldn't you? I guess. I've never used them in soup. We still got some of them sweet potatoes, don't we? Oh, yeah, we got sweet potatoes. You already cut me up some of them to take to work in a bag so I can eat them raw. I like them raw. Look like I've already brought one in here. Over there with the rest of the vegetables and fruits. Or fruits. And... Oh, that little thing? Well, how big would you want? Well, I mean, that'd be all right for a snack. I got a pellet and all that, you know. Let's see. Now, I just went ahead and soaked some of these and... You can just save one to peel for the show. Yeah, I'll just show what I'm going to do. Well, we don't have to be in no hurry. I mean, just don't be well, in no hurry. Well, I want these to soak some, so I'm going to cut them up. Now, you make your potatoes for stewing however big you want them. I shouldn't be doing that. I could cut my hand, but I've done it like that for so long. It doesn't, you know, I just be careful. That's all you can do. I had to run out earlier. And do a few things and come to town. So she wanted me to go to the store. And she had forgotten to get uh, this stuff here. Some peppercorns. I this, got another little recipe yeah, to show y'all that's really good. That peppercorn and she wanted me to get a garlic. Well, this is what I got her. A scallion. And he, he had to get somebody else to show him. And I said, I can't believe it. it's like he went brain dead after he got to the store or well, something. Well, that's the only thing I could find. And I don't even know what a scallion is, but it smells like an onion. David, as many times as you've shopped with your wife and everything and you don't know. Well, that's just the way it goes. I but, said your wife, so, but I'm his wife. So. <laughs> well, so what's going to be in, in the place of the garlic now then, since I got the I'm wrong? I'm going to use minced garlic. I hate to because that recipe that I'm going to do, you just press it a little bit so the flavor can come out. But it won't matter. The minced will work. I'll just use those and it'll be okay. I try to... Stay busy and not think about mommy. It took so long with daddy, you know, to just well, be able to talk about it and deal with it. You still can't it. even watch the show that I did, you know, not on yet. the on Pappy's Beef Stew. You, you still ain't never watched and that show. He's been dead a year. This is weird. Daddy died on Thanksgiving Eve. Mommy I mean, you died watched on it. Christmas Eve. You I'm watched like, it when I put it out, but you can't watch it now. But, you know, but, you know that will not ruin my holidays because... No. My mother loved Christmas, and oh, that yeah. would just be crazy not to celebrate because she's not here. Right. She would want us to. Oh, gosh, yeah. She loved all her lights, and I like them, too, but I'm too old to get out there and put them up. I'll put them up for you. Oh, we still need to get a plug in. I figure out how to power them. I might hook up a solar outfit for you and hook them up. That'd be a good idea. I guess. Go green. Go green. On um, thing is... I don't know out front whether they would charge or not. Yeah, hit a charge. Your mommy wanted to make some more shows, but she just never was Here's able to. Here's the hard part. She was going to change that DNR. And you know what? Daddy never wanted to do no kind of treatments or nothing, but he changed his mind too. It was just too late. 
You know, Mommy said, when I get home, I'm going to change that DNR. And you know why? Because she still thought that being around Gregory, the one they adopted, he still needed them, and he still does. But he's got us. So yeah. He's got all of us. You know, he's a good boy. He works good. And oh, yeah. They've he's done a, a great working. job with him. Yeah. He's a hard-working fellow. He should be fine. He goes and makes money, lets it go in the bank, and goes back and makes some more. That's what he wants to do, just make money, money, money. That's right. And there's nothing wrong with that. He do it works while you hard can. for everything he's got. The way things are getting the country might go in depression and get it while you can get it. He works where they build these big trucks, tractor and trailers. And he makes good money, too, doing it. Well, Daddy wanted to die at home, and it for a long time he couldn't handle it. Gregory couldn't, but then he bought the house. So, Mommy didn't want to die at home because she said everybody else that lives there has to stay there. It's too hard. Which is funny. She she told me I was trying to exercise her legs because she hadn't been up on her feet for a while, and physical therapy wanted us to exercise them. Well, I said, Mommy, come on, you got to exercise your legs. I know you've been up one time today, but we got to exercise your legs so you'll be able to walk. You can't go home till you can walk. And uh, she said, if you don't leave me, she said, I'm tired. And if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to go join you. I'm going to go join Billy, which is Daddy. And I said, was that nice? And she said, I thought it was. And I said, well, I don't. I would miss you too bad. And she said, well, I want to rest. I said, that's all you've been doing is resting for a couple of weeks now. You shouldn't be tired. But let me tell you, if you have a COPD, you got a history of pneumonia and bronchitis and stuff, you know how bad it is when you can't breathe. And you also know that it wires you out trying. And she was just so tired from trying to breathe. She had oxygen, but still just trying to breathe that in. She didn't have no, enough strength to get from the bed to the chair, and they were side by side. So, but when she told me that, I said, was that nice? She said, I thought it was. And I said, well, I don't. I don't think that was nice at all. And she said, well, I'm in it. And then... <laughs> Your daughter stayed all night. Well, she was one, one stay night. All night. Yeah, she stayed all night the first night. One night, and then. And then. But you told her that uh, I, that she was going to come home and try to get some rest, and and and, the, and she said, "Who's going to come over? The warden?" Oh, I told her. I said, "Mommy, <laughs> do you know who's going to come and stay a few tonight?" And she said, "Probably the warden." Well, I nicknamed her the warden when my granddaughter was a little kid. Talking about your daughter, you, that's yeah. the warden. <laughs> See, I named her the warden because my granddaughter, when she would act up, I didn't spank her. So maybe one time I spanked her for being mean. And she's like, I said, I'm going to call you mommy if you don't behave. No, no, no. I said, I'm going to call the warden. Your mommy's like a prison warden or something mean. Now is a nice one and you want to be mean. And she's like, no, now, don't call her, please. I promise I'll be good. And I had to threaten her a hundred more times after that. But I could get a good... Well, your mommy's mind was good, good all the way up. She knew who everybody was, even at the end. You know, Brenda was trying... They, they had, She went through a spell where they couldn't wake her up because she got too much CO2. They hit that button, too, but that red button. And all these doctors come flying in, all these people from all these different departments. And they were still kind of out in the hallway trying to get in there. And me and my daughter, we just backed up in a corner and against a wall. And I was trying to wake her up. And I said, I can't get her awake. And the nurse come to try. We're going to give her medicine. I left from work and I tailed it over. And that was, um, so that happened twice. And so she wasn't. It actually happened three times. Three times. Well, it didn't, she didn't seem too coherent. So Brenda was, uh, was saying, Mommy, uh, this is a little bit later on. Dr. Green's here. I'd say, Dr. Green's here. I could not get her to open her eyes. It scared me half to death. And I said, Mommy, Dr. Green's here. And her eyes would go, just like you have spring on. I'm like, <laughs> now you can know anybody would come. If it was David, I said, Mommy, Dr. Green's here. Open and, her and, eyes. And, I would, and I would say, how you doing? And she'd open her eyes and she said, that's, that's David. David. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just funny. We couldn't get her to wake up, but she'd wake up for Dr. Green. <laughs> 
I said, I think you're faking it. You know, when I left to go home, she was doing real good. <laughs> just like... And you only came home just a couple of times. That was just one of the rare ones that you did come home. You know, and I come home for a couple... You know, when I school come home, only a couple spend times. the night because I was exhausted. Well, I, my brother had come to the hospital, and I got to go home for several hours. And I told David, I said, I feel so tired. I'm going to sit down a few minutes. Next thing you know, I was oh, waking yeah. up three or four hours later. Well, so I had to go back to the hospital because he had to get home. They had a long ways to go, and I was going to stay. And then my daughter came, but that doctor, and I won't say no names, I didn't like him, and I done told the nurse I don't want him back in here. I don't trust him. Well, while my brother and his wife was there, that doctor come in and turned her auction down real low. He had already tried to get me to give up on her several times, and I told him no. Dr. Green thinks he can get her through this. And, and I said, well, you want me to just let you unplug her, plug her air and stuff? Because she wasn't on a respirator or nothing, but she was Assistant on the breathing. form. Yeah, she, it but, was the one that was pushing air in yeah. her, but from the outside. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was well, a, a, a warm air. Green took everybody together, and I was there, and he said he thinks he can pull her through this. You he know? did. He, and, but, and they wanted, that doctor wanted us to call hospice in. I said, no. Nope. That other one, yeah. Nope. The, the pulmonologist did not want us to do that. And he said, you know, y'all, the family, it's up to y'all, but I think I can get her through this. I wish you wouldn't do it right now. Well, there was one doctor that was positive and the other one wasn't. So, it anyway. Was just, so, I don't know if that's what went against her. The fact that he hadn't given her Lasix. I think he was trying. And turned on. Well, you in, said he, he in turned. In third country, they might do that. But he turned it down. He turned her But the nurse down. turned it back up. Some. And when I looked at it, it still wasn't where Dr. Green had it. And I was going to tell him when he come back in there to turn it up or tell the nurse. But then I got some concern about the amount of fluid that was on her. So, I... It, I her heart stopped. I'm going to say it was congestive heart failure. It's just a terrible thing. You know, it, it just, is. I don't want to talk about it right I know. now. I know. No more. But more. you've done good so far. You've held out better than I thought you would. That's you know? just when you're in front of me. I know. That's because, I know. We talked a lot about it before we'd done this show. We don't know if you're going to make it through it. I don't know if I can make it through it. It's hard. No, mommy you know, loved David. Mom and Daddy both loved David. He was a good son. The hardest mom. part was missing the funeral. You know? I know. I hated that. Um, I, I don't know. It will take a long time, but there, it was out there of was no control. way. There, there was, was no, way. no way. There's no way. There's no way. We, I, the sickest I have ever been in my life, me the too, sickest Brenda's <laughs> ever been in her life. I know for me. I mean, I got up at 10 o'clock vomiting and diarrhea and did not stop. And I'm on the way to the hospital, and she's driving me, and she can't hardly see at night. And I'm puking the whole way down. And here's to, what's the weird. Down the mountain and to the hospital, and I'm puking, you know. I and, wore two masks at that hospital the whole time. David's the one that gave us that. I don't think so. I think you did. You had it first. You bought it home from the hospital. I wore two masks the whole time I was there, and you know it. Well, you I don't was sick first. Well, anyway, they said it was norovirus. Highly contagious, whatever it is, I don't rec hope nobody gets hope, that. And my cousin sister, uh, we also on uh, Thanksgiving, a day after Thanksgiving, I believe. Actually, my cousin had hit the floor, and she lived in North Carolina, and she had hit the floor. Now we raced up together a lot. We lived together a lot. Yeah. And. Uh, because Daddy, he worked on the railroad, so we was there with them a lot, too. And I'm trying to get some of that stuff off of there. Anyhow, my sister cousin, we lost one of them, too, during Thanksgiving. And I'm like, is there anything else going to happen to us? You know, I just... It's been extremely it's hard. It's been real hard. I miss her, too, so bad. Yeah, she was a nice girl. Woman. Yeah, and her other sister... Her other sister, you know, they were real close too. And anyway, she fell on the floor. Now, y'all listen to this. She fell on the floor, and Anna could not get a hold of her. So they got a brother that lived next to her. Anna was sick with this same thing. She got it twice in two weeks. And <laughs> it was rough. I don't know how she got through it. It took me don't. a week before I could start eating anything. You get so weak, and I thought I'd done pulled every muscle in my back and stuff. Oh, gosh. And, you know, the 
vomiting yeah, I know. stuff was so bad that yeah. you just, oh, And my bad. hernia, that hernia of mine, golly, it's hurting so bad so from all that. So anyhow, uh, we lost Frida too during Thanksgiving, and I sure will miss her. I do miss her already, you know. And yeah, I liked her. It'll be hard not to see her coming to Mommy's, because we all just meet up at Mommy's. I don't live next to my mom and them. Yeah, it's true. Well, but to subscribers, God love you. You know, I mean, it's just unbelievable that the comments, it just, it just rips at my heart just, just thinking about them, you know. It's like, don't answer, I'll answer. You don't answer them, I'll answer them. I'd, I'd read some of them to you. And you said, well, you said you can't answer them anyway. You can't even look I at them without, right you know. Now, and I just, just can't. I'm sorry. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm sitting there trying to read through them and I'm, I'm choking. You know, and, I'm gonna tell you, and so I'd have to stop, and then I'd go back, and so I couldn't sleep, so I take, I, I gathered up some old stuff, some old footage from last year, that I, I didn't feel was very good about on that wood stove cooking, and and then we 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 had missing footage on the green beans, on the the phone didn't work or something didn't work out right or whatever, and so I had that little bit of that cannon. Originally, the cannon and the green beans was going to be a cannon show together, so I just sort of done a collage. Put something together. I stayed up to five o'clock in the morning, and and just still sick and kept working. I had nothing but computer problems. I, I said I'm not giving up. I almost gave up a couple of times and just kept on and kept on. And we had all that cold weather. We had some pipes to freeze. Um, we had um, I ain't kidding. It has been the wind was blowing so hard and so cold. My car doors froze. The car doors froze, and I'd have to run, go from work and run there to the hospital. And still couldn't get them opened up. And then your cousin climbed through well, the trunk. Well, that's because you had already and sprayed that stuff in there, honey. And it worked by the time James went down there. See, I was at the hospital and couldn't get in the car. And then when we did get a door open, couldn't get it to shut back. Yeah, but I don't know why Chevrolet car. done so stupid thing as that. They got one door lock on the driver's side. And it's a four-door car. And it ain't got no locks anywhere else on it. What a dumbbell. You well, know? they lock, but so, they don't have a keyhole lock. But, yeah, I know. It's an actuator. It's not a regular key like the old right. ones. It's some kind of fancy actuator thing. And you get these newer cars. Well, yours ain't newer. It's an 07. But, you know. I'd like to have a new car. But yeah, who wouldn't? Happen till we have but, uh, an electric one. but who'd want all that electric stuff on it? You keep a car. You know, if you trade it in every couple of years like a lot of people do, that's no big deal. If you're going to keep it like we would, would for the rest of your life, when all that electronic stuff starts breaking down, what are you supposed to do then? Like Barney Fife would do, run down the alley and, and holler fish. Yeah, help, help. You know? But we've had a time. We uh, really had a hard time. I'm hoping everybody had a good Christmas, you know, and, and hope this year will be good for all of Look, us. We hopefully. still have a good Christmas. It was blessed. Though we were sick, it was, we were blessed, and, you know, God gave us family, and if we're here next, if we're here this summer, I will show y'all how to do green beans, okay? Well, I honestly believe it wasn't for subscribers' prayers I know and the viewers' prayers. Know, there is no way we would make it through this mess that we've been through. I mean, if we did, it'd be, it'd be a wonder. I really, truly, in my heart, believe that. I mean, you take all those people that prayed, you know, for us and for you. God sure been you know, good. You know, you got to know this. That's uh, the only thing I can think of. I can't think of any other reason, honestly. You know, there is one thing, you know, it doesn't make it you'll, you'll, easier. You'll know what I'm talking with, about. When, when you start reading those comments and stuff, you'll know what I'm talking about. Because it you hit know, me. You know, but where there's life, there's death. That's I for could, sure. I could feel it in my heart when reading those comments. I could feel it. And you'll do the same thing when, when you start reading them. But we're doing good. So far, we've made it this far. I have one of these right here to use. As a matter of fact, I got two or three of them. I like that one pretty good. I got a cute little recipe I'm going to do for y'all in a day or so. And I think you're going to like it. Because you can do it any time of the year. And it's good on a whole lot of stuff. But I'm going to show you. It is not chow chow. It's been so long since I've made chow chow. I can do it. But I... This is a, this don't this thing show, uh, this showed already done got up to thirty minutes here, Brenda. But usually you want some this in your lunch. We'll go ahead and go with it, and if the show turns out to be an hour, then then we'll take us a week, and it'll upload in about a week, and and it'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> seriously. <laughs> seriously, it'll probably well, take three or four days. Getting new internet and you haven't gotten it yet. I, I don't know about all this. Pretty to... expensive and everything. I'm, we stick with what we got for right now. But I told her before we start this, usually I'm trying to rush her. I went tiny and kicking in gear. I, I was, I'm trying to rush her, so we got to make the show 30 minutes. Can't make it anymore. David, we should make so. enough on the show to pay for better internet. I feel that we can. Well, we can. It might take us a little while. But anyway. Um, no, you just need to go ahead and get it going. No, we just. We I think you do. That we can get shows and stuff going a whole lot better and not have to redo them and stuff a hundred times. Well. You know, up on that hill, though, it's hard to get anything that works good anyhow, but the wind blows and it's cold. Anyway, I told her on, the, on this show, we're not making no hurry out of it. We'll just do what we can. Would you like some of these peppers, David, in your lunch yeah. tomorrow? The young ones? Yeah. I think my four-year-old pepper plant has passed away. It did. It passed away because you dropped it. Well. Is that enough pieces or what? Yeah. The reason, I'm just going to cut them up and put them in but the But I freezer. got some seeds from it, so I'm going to try this summer to well, reincarnate it. <laughs> <laughs> but I ain't gave up on it. It's still in the house, even though it looks dead. But who knows? It might pop back out in the spring. I don't know. Hey, I'm going to tell you that the money and stuff that's been sent to me sure has been helpful, and I appreciate it. Oh, gosh, it. yeah. I spent so as high much as money gas is, and everything, and and, and, and food, and I tell you what I was doing, and it cost a lot to do it, but I didn't care. Um, mommy wouldn't eat that nasty hospital food because you know they can't season it. Not even the green beans looked and tasted like rubber. She wouldn't eat scrambled eggs because that's all she got lately was scrambled eggs. Well, um, so. I said, would you eat some salad? Yeah, I'd go get salad, barbecue sandwiches, fish, just whatever they had for everybody else, the doctors and stuff. And, you know, every day, eight, nine, ten dollars. And I would get it, and she would eat a little bit of it, but not that much. So I was just, I was okay, you know, with that. I know that mommy ate what she could of it, and, uh, and I'm not complaining about complaining about it by no means. I would have done anything to help her oh, do anything. Sadie got to see her. I was so glad of that. And Sadie says, and, tell everybody hello. Yeah. Whenever she's they to get with another us. break, she's going to try to come and do some shows with us. Yeah, she she was sad about your mother too. And she said, tell everybody um, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And I'm sorry, I'm just now telling you, but we're doing a video now, so... Well, you seen her on the little video when we was at the hospital, yeah. and she come there to see me, or I went yeah. and got to see her. Well, David went and got her. Yeah, I had to go pick her up. All right, so what's happening now? So, I'm just cutting up these vegetables here, David, for the soup, and... Chopping vegetables. Chopping up vegetables while we yak. Is, where's the hamburger at, right here? <laughs> you haven't cooked it yet. I reckon we're already turned it on. No, not yet. That's some fancy pots. That, uh, uh, got. There's no lids to these because they're like a double boiler, but I don't want nothing getting in there until I get ready 17 to layers of steel. No, it ain't. Seven, used to, I believe. You <laughs> used to say it all the time on I our old shows. Seven layers. <laughs> as much as you've endorsed these things, these folks already seen you a free pot lid or something. Well, they have given me some free stuff, like uh, when? the knife. Not from the show. Uh-huh. I, I told the man at the fair that I'd been advertising. Oh, yeah, we went to the... He gave me... Yeah, yeah, what's when we went to the county fair? Good night, yeah. that thing will cut your hands off, you ain't Yeah, that's right, we went to the county fair. It's good for bread and meat, but, but it's a good old night. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't say nothing was good unless it was good, so, I mean... Oh, no, these yeah. things are good. You just... Yeah. You know, you just got to remember to cook down on low and medium. Nothing high. I'd you like just just plumb amazed to have nice stuff like that, but because well, you never had stuff like we that, used to you go know. To the fire all the time, and I, when I was able, we would come down and go to the fire. But I'm talking about years back. You always had just old aluminum would, pots and yep. junk and stuff, you know. And me and mommy and daddy, all three, would sit there a couple different times and watch that cooking show on the inside. And you go in the auxiliary hall. There was, um, it was cool in there. It's always hot because the fire's on the 4th of July. So it's always hot in there. 
Now, this is for your lunch. The rest of them I'll put in the freezer when I don't use it. I don't guess you can freeze this stuff. I never have. I'm thinking about doing a little, a little show like with your mom and dad just some kind of like some clips because i got some stuff some footage of your dad's that i've never put up or nothing like that i don't have no extra i do have a little bit of extra footage of your mom and i might but you know do something like that i kind of i kind of enjoy doing it since i learned to edit it's almost like a kid learning how to walk and just wants to walk everywhere so i kind of enjoy doing it you know um but i don't want to make it look like a funeral type of thing show you know how they do at the funeral homes they got you know video footage now I don't know if that's so, enough of that or not. I don't want to do not. it like that, but I thought about trying to do a little a little show. I've got some some footage of your dad's. And, I've done washed all of this. And, and just a little bit of your mom's. But I'm going to miss, miss, miss her terribly. I still miss your dad, and I think about him every day. You, you know. Bust that, didn't you? I got but, bust that too by our show. <laughs> well, your dad always liked riding around with him. We uh, we I'd come in and and you you visit with your mom and me and him hit the road and he'd take me up in West Virginia and places you know love it up there it's beautiful you know and, and, and he said now a little bit later on I'm gonna take you up here I'm gonna show you something else here and you're gonna really like it you know and I was already looking forward to that but it never happened you know no, and he got sick it's just all of and, a sudden you know and, yeah it was all of a sudden you know it was all of a sudden but but I enjoyed doing that and uh West Virginia is a beautiful place, and I'd love to have some land well, up he, there. Well, he died about three months or three and a half months after he'd done that beef stew video. He yeah. Was. Oh, yeah. It was just a you few months what? after. And yeah. that was so cute. He he wanted to do it. He said, I might do a video on a beef stew. Well, first he said, oh, I ain't well, going to do nothing like that. Well, yeah. first he and volunteered, and then, then he said... And when I showed up, I said, okay, and he looked at me like I was insane. <laughs> no, Mommy called and said she thought Daddy wanted to cancel it, and I said, no, he ain't even. I said, is he nervous? She said, yeah. And I got to talking to him. I said, Daddy, ain't no reason to be nervous. I said, it's just going to be me and you and David. And you're used to us being around. And he said, oh, is that it? And I said, yeah, it's going to be on the web later, but you don't have to do it in front of them, just us. Yeah. And he, he got the courage up and done it. And then when he got done, he said, that was fun. And I said, but you were shaking. <laughs> and he said, no, I wasn't. He was. He was so nervous. But then after that, he said, well, that was fun. I could do that some more. Yeah, said, yeah, he he fun, liked it. it. Yeah, yeah, he liked it. He liked it. And, and well, you know, we never grew up. We didn't have stuff like this, you know. And the first time, I'm still he shy to be on the camera. The you know, I'm I'm still I'm still shy about being on it myself. And and I figured you would really when we first started. I was shy. You know, I uh, look back on some of them. And I'm like, oh gracious. And but now <laughs> we, we enjoy it. We, you know, we like it and everything. And. And and your mama, she didn't know that she didn't really didn't bother her. She never said anything about it, did she? Well, as far if as I you know, watch but... her in that cornbread, you'll notice that she didn't look at the camera. Yeah. That was the only way. Well, she, she could never said anything it, about it. She never said nothing about it. But I watched her. She couldn't look at that camera, and I couldn't hear her. That's the reason I was uh, repeating everything she was saying. Yeah. Because she wasn't talking very loud, so I was repeating it so everybody would know what she was doing. Well, we talk loud naturally. I mean, we're not talking we're not loud just because of the show. We're why. we're just a bunch of big <laughs> mouths anyway. So, but that's just natural for us. I can't have here I anyway. I think it's you, not me. Working in them old furniture factories down in North Carolina and them textile factories that messed my hearing up. So, if there's two I or three, I in them too, but I didn't stay that long. If there's uh, people talking or something, I can't hear nothing. You know, nothing. I mean, nothing makes no sense whatsoever. But I worked beside this machine that was called a turning lathe at Cross Creek Apparel. And that machine was so loud and didn't wear no earplugs or nothing. It was like standing beside of a jet engine all night long. They should have had y'all wearing a plug, which I didn't either when I worked in the furniture factory. Well, that was a textile factory on that one. That wasn't the furniture, but furniture one was just as bad. You got all that compressed air constantly carrying on and everything. What do you mean, David? I made countertops. Yeah. I done it good, so they wanted me to constantly do it, and I'm like, golly, this well, is heavy for just. We had me, to do what we had to do. I mean, you know, had whatever. To work. You know, that's why our bodies is probably about half shot now. You know, we did what we could. The best we could. Did what we had to do. That's the only thing you know, I was ever And it wasn't no six look, months either. I it was years. I from high school so, and still uneducated. Well, things is different back then. And, and it was in your folks' times, it was even more different. Yeah. But the young kids now should 
should, the younger generation should. Well, you know, you mom know, or daddy neither one graduated from high school, but yet both of them worked at AT and T making these little bitty carts and stuff. So. Making what? Some little parts. Oh yeah, I thought telephone. you said carts. For telephones and computers yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I knew that's what I knew that's what they did, but I thought you said they made carts. I'm like, huh? Cart? No. These little computer size stuff. Yeah, it's probably little chip things or something, don't it? Yeah, they made that. Push a button, it went chick 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 or something. <laughs> no, that's when mommy started wearing glasses because they couldn't um she got of course couldn't hardly see, it was getting blurred, then they sent it to China or Yeah, but your daddy worked hard on the railroad. Yeah, then they sent the business to China or Japan or somewhere. I don't know where they sent it, but they bowed them out. Well, a lot of jobs went across seas, you I know. know but I hope some of them will come back. Well, ain't nobody to work them. Everybody, the younger generation now, they got to start at the top. They want to be a CEO right off the top. Yeah, you know? that's right. It's unbelievable, but that's right. And there's nothing wrong going to school and bettering yourself, but, you know, you should, you're going to have to pay it yourself. You can't respect, you know, the government to pay for it and stuff. That's, that's dumb. We, we ain't nobody never paid for nothing we got. No. And then, you know. Swing a nine pound hammer all day long as the saying would go. Year after year after year. Now I've had it pretty good for the last few years. It ain't been too bad on me. I don't think I could go back to that kind of work. I don't think I'd be able to hold up. I don't think I could have either once you get out of it and go in the office. And that's what I did. I went in the office. But I was already getting sick and just couldn't do the hard work no more in that warehouse. Ten years ago you weighed 100 pounds, didn't you? No, I weighed 120. 120 ten years ago. Now look, I probably got 90 pounds extra on me. Bad as that sounds, that's true. I'm a fat girl now. I thought you was up to 670. What? I better shut up. You got that knife in your hand. That's right. It's sharp. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't want to hurt you, but I can't. Oh, yeah. That's your parking lot knife. <laughs> hey, this is how you straighten up your husband. You can't do it by talking to him. You have to fret them. You have to fret them real good. That's your parking lot knife. That's my parking lot knife. Santa Claus knife. Found it in the parking lot. What we got in here? Smelling good. Beans, beans, beans. You see the color of that soup? That's going to cook up in the beans. Okay. But that's not enough that's beans. It. I'm going to have to add some, I believe. Well, you know, I thought it was going to be enough. No, my God, it ain't going to be enough. You want me to pause them up 39 minutes? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, what I'm going to do is turn this hamburger on to start cooking. How much hamburger is that in there? That's a pound, a little okay. over a pound maybe. Just going to let it brown up. Probably should have been a little more, but that's okay. And what I want to do is start letting my um, broth get to cooking. I like a good vegetable-based broth, and some of this stuff you can go ahead and add. And I did add a little bit of this greenery from the um, celery. Celery helps make a good broth, and I'm gonna add some more of these celeries in here. Have a good base, a good vegetable. Oh well, just add them all because I don't know what to do with that celery. And also some onion. I'd say so. I'm not gonna put all this. Oh. I cut it, I really had cut it up because I can put the rest in the freezer. Oh, okay. See, I'm getting a good soup base going now. All right. Now, you can do this quick or you can let it take its time and simmer, and that's what we've been doing, taking its time and simmering. Okay. Now, that right there is going to give me a good base on the vegetable stock. And then I'll add the carrots, and I think I should go ahead and put some of these, too. What do you think? I don't know. I do. There I you go. There it goes. That's yellow pepper or something. Red or and yellow. Red and yellow. And they're not strong like the green ones are, so I went ahead and put all that in there, and I'm going to let that start. It's good. Or do you think I should go ahead and, maybe I should go ahead and put the tomatoes and the tomato juice in, too. I don't maybe know. Maybe they'll do a good cooking together there. I wouldn't well, have a clue. I ain't never done this before. Home canned tomatoes. 
And you always got to make sure you rotate your tomatoes and stuff whenever you can each year. What'd you call them? Tomatoes? Tomatoes. I call them maters. Now this would probably be more than two cans. The little cans this size. Maybe a little more than two of these. What's that? So that's a quart. Quart, quart jar. Yes. All right. And what's this right here? Peas? Yeah, but I'm not going to put those right now. I'm going to wait until I put the meat and stuff. I'm just going to let this all boil together there a little bit and, and start making me a good stock. Kind of simmer up a little bit. Which I won't take it out there, but it does give it a little time to cook a little longer. And it makes a good stock. And what's I'll that? Mushrooms? Back. That's mushrooms. I might go ahead and add them too, but I don't think I will. All right. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. Hear your, hear your refrigerator growling? I can't grab, but there's stuff on top of it. I'm going to clean it off again, but I kind of need your help because I can't really reach everything. You didn't need my help when you shoved it up there. <laughs> what are you trying to say, David Hall? I'm trying to say I need to back the truck up there and load it all up. That's probably true, too. Let's put the lid on there. That helps it get to going good. All right. Now, let me tell you what I did do. And it depends on how much that this is, but when I use hamburger and tomatoes, I always use a little sugar. And I'm trying to cut back on the sugar, so I put some Splenda, a Splenda packet. And I put two because I've got a lot going on in this pot, and it's going to be a big pot before it's over. So, so two little Splenda packets. Yep, that's all I put in it. Well, you used to put sugar in it. Used to. I know some of them recipes, you'd put like a five-gallon bucket of brown sugar and a five-gallon <laughs> bucket of another, some kind of sugar. <laughs> What a stinking lie. Well, you used I to. I did put sugar, but not quite a five-gallon bucket. Maybe a two-dollar-and-fifty-cent bucket. Or two-and-a-half-gallon bucket. What am I saying? A two-and-a-half. Look, I get way down here on this thing to do this with. Wonder but why. You know, it's easier on my wrist for some reason. These, I've been having a lot of problems with my wrist. What would you do before you had that fancy contraption? You used a fork? Egg turner. Oh. Well, I call it an egg turner, but a spatula, yeah. <laughs> one of these. It works good, see? But it's just too too clacky when I'm doing it, but it'll cut it up good and fine. And sometimes I forget I got this, and I'll still get the egg turner. You scuff them seven layers of steel. Won't hurt it. Mess up that stove. It yeah. won't hurt the it. The only stove you have after that is that old wood stove in there. Well, then I, I guess you won't get much to eat, will you? Well, this one's going to have to last as long as we live. <laughs> you know what? I guess you will, David. We can't really do a whole lot about what happens to stuff like that. So if Mr. it goes out, it goes out. Mr. Frigidaire. But I do try to take care of you it. You better last a long time. I use it so much, though, it gets filthy and I'm getting hard to keep up with it. But the main you tag. Know, whenever I clean that, I'm hoping it gets that soapy water or whatever that is out of there. The main tag lasted a couple decades at yeah, least. Yeah. It would done rusted out, rusting out around the bottom edge. That's because you let everything boil out on top of it. No, I didn't. It was an antique day, but it was old. It wasn't an antique when I got it new. But David, how many years later have we used it? How many years did we use it? Twenty 50? years. More than twenty. It was a good stove. It still heated good. But you know what? We couldn't find them little pans to go down in there. There's, you I know, made you, you some out of tinfoil. But you think you can go buy some pans? Uh-uh. We tried Walmart. We tried Target. I made you some out of some he more car parts. He ordered off of eBay. I ordered off of eBay. And I got some out of And you and Sadie market. lied on me and said y'all got shocked on that stove. Hey, hey we was That was on that show. No. It, we was, was fibbing about that. But yeah, but you I didn't was, tell me it was fibbing. That's why I bought a new one, because y'all made up like he's getting shocked. Well, and uh, so I got what? a new one. I, if it wasn't what? for that, I never would have got it another one. It did shock me a couple times. That's what I was trying to tell you, but you won't let me tell you. I tried to tell you a few times. I came to bed one morning. I come in, are you still in bed? And I said, you know what? That stove shocked me. Just all in I your head. And I told you again later, no, it didn't feel too good. <laughs> It was just in your head. And I was cleaning it and stuff, and it got shocked by it. And I'm like, golly, it was mad I at you. got scared of it. It mad at you for treating it so bad. <laughs> I'm going to kill him in a minute. Not literally, just big time. That stove, poor stove. Here comes that woman going to swap some stuff on top of me again. I'm going to shock her this time. I when I cook, but I try to cook. <laughs> Come on, boy, old oh boy, old oh boy. All right. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes.
I'm going to add the rest of the stuff, and about the time it gets done, we'll come on back. All right, I've added everything to the soup, and I even added a, um, a good handful and a half of pasta. Some people like it, and some don't, but I like it. I don't like an overkill, but... Is that, that the way she done it? Yeah, Mommy would sometimes put pasta in it. You, you didn't know. put no hat of the corn out, lady. You said you forgot that. The corn? No, I had corn. I did have a bag of frozen corn. Well, that smells good. Yeah, it's ready. I'm sure the pastas are done. Look how good that looks, honey. Look at that. You're blocking the light and you can't see yourself. Oh, yes, you can. All right, there you go. Look. Here you go. Look. It does smell good. Lots of juice. I'm ready for mm -hmm. some. I'm wore out. Well, and y'all, I'm glad he's going back to work tomorrow. I'll show you why. Why? He's been bored and stuff. Well, look what he did the other day yesterday. Oh, don't right? drag that mess out here, honey. Look at Larry. It had big holes. Move out of the light so they can see it. Look at that. Anyway, he glued him some patches on there, and I asked him, I said, do those still fit you in a way? She said, I don't know. And I said, well, it looks to me like you're using a lot of glue and stuff. Well, anyway, it's holding, and if they fit him, then he can get another month or two out of my reckon, or a year or so, whatever. Depends on how much he gains. No, you shouldn't have brought that out there. <laughs> hey, and uh, look, you, you've got something you wanted to show them on the door? On the door? The front door. Oh yeah, I'm gonna do that a little bit later. I'm gonna, okay. well, if you're gonna show that, you might as well show this. Don't show nothing. Don't show anything. Let's don't show nothing. Oh yeah, let's show the. <laughs> he took, he took, and he kept. The, you're in the light. You change places. With, there you go. Look. So uh, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. He cut the fingers and stuff out of these, and these had holes on them. And look, he glued them in there. So now he'll get some more use out of those too. We well, you only glued one on this, and that's the thumb one. So I guess. No, these two could use something. See, that's wearing thin. But anyhow, can y'all believe that? In other words, what she's trying to say, I guess. He's bored. <laughs> Sitting around the house being sick. Got to find some kind of little project. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> well, let me give you some of this. Look, I was going to make the cornbread with it, and I cannot find my cornmeal. I have searched this house over. You watch. I'll find it. But oh, if it's not, stacked in here somewhere. If not, I'll get some tomorrow and fix my cornbread. Well, I was stacked up on Do top of this refrigerator. Juice, David? Did you look up on top of this thing? Do you want very much juice? No. Um, but your mom always made cornbread with it too, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, we always had cornbread and crackers. Well, you've got you've got the cornbread on the show you where tell she me made. How much of this you want? Right. Uh, yeah. Which we can do. So that's that's good the for right now. Cornbread's on here. You don't want no juice. Yeah, you got some in there. Is that enough? Is that all you want? Let me find you a soup spoon. Something that's big enough for your mouth. <coughs> you holler a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness! A couple of them got a longer handle on them or something. Or something. So, David Hall, here you go. Yeah, that does smell really good on a real cold, it's a rainy cold, night. It's a cold, rainy day, and this is good. It's so good. It's very hot. You want me to cool some for you? You're in the light. You're in your own light. I love this stuff right as it starts to cool. Man, it's hot. I know that. Ouch, ouch. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get the camera on me up close, I reckon. I hope you can edit that mug shot out. <sighs> See, I want to show Ooh, you. Oh, that's hot. I want to show you. I know, and you swallowed it whole. Look here. Oh, that's good. Though. You see my juice? It's a little thicker than ah. water, you know, my juice is. <sighs> when, you let them, when you let your stuff slow cook, your juice will get a little thicker, and it makes it so good. Thick and hearty. When it gets cooled down, it sticks to your ribs. That is good, honey. But like I said, y'all put what you want to, but I've got uh, green beans and corn and potatoes, carrots, tomatoes. Macaroni and corn, peppers and onions, and mm -hmm. celery. That's what's that in good. mine. Wonder what happens if you put cabbage in it. You can put cabbage if you want to. <coughs> oh, I love. Uh, 
I like to take cabbage and put some um, uh, celery and peppers and onions and make a weight loss soup. The thing about it is, I don't lose weight off of it because it's so good. I just keep eating and eating and eating. So that is good. My brother's the same way. We make weight loss soup and end up eating too much of it. Wow, that is good. Well, good, honey. I'm glad you like it. Mega hot, but it's good. I even yeah. put, hey, you might not taste it now, but it does flavor in there a little bit. Look, whoops. Stop falling. So anyway, look at here. Crushed red pepper flakes. I put a little bit of that in there. Not much. Just mm. enough to give it a little bit of a flavor. Well, flavor, you, baby. <laughs> well, I think, thanks, your mama Sue. You know, for making such good soups and stuff and passing it on down to you. So I guess sure the only is. thing in here that would be bad would be the bouillon cubes, of course. <clears> I would <throat> use that or some kind of, if you want some beef soup, uh, vegetable soup with a beefy flavor, keep the bouillon cubes away or I got another little thing I get at Sam's. And it's a beef based stuff, it's like thick paste. That's what it is, a paste. If you know what would be good with there, this? If you don't want no meat, that's a cheaper way to go. You know what would be good with this? What? Some cornbread. <laughs> I'm going to smack you in a minute. <laughs> I've looked everywhere for my... You know, when I open something like that, if I don't have a canister to put it, and I don't have a canister for cornmeal, then I will find me and will get me one. So uh, It's buried up here somewhere. Would you say it was in a plastic bag it's in or a ziplock or something? a plastic bag. I put it in a big zip, a gallon size ziplock bag. So I got it. Anyway, y'all, thanks for all the cards and the letters and phone numbers and all that. I'm going to be in touch with you if I have a number. Uh, yeah, well, let me say something. We I mean, love you all, and I hope everybody had a real good Christmas, New Year's, and Thanksgiving. God bless you all. I said this at the earlier, but I want to say it again. You know, I, I'm so grateful for all the kind words and the comments and everything that they did, you know, and uh, it means a whole lot more than words can describe how much it means. It means so much to hear from people, you know, to saying that they're praying and, and everything oh, for us. So and, good. Thank you, Jesus. And, uh, I'll tell you it is. I mean, there's no way we could thank everybody except for, you know, it, it's Someone hard to put it in words. the P.O. box. You may put it down there yet. Yeah, it's just so hard to put it in words so much. You know, we're grateful. You know, that it's, it's undescribable. Um, everything, you know, that they've done for you, Brenda, they've done a lot for you. Mm -hmm. For us both. I appreciate it, not just for me, but for you. Just because yeah. it was my mother didn't mean it was to... You know, my parents is your parents and yours is mine. And I loved I his mom. I was with his mom when she passed away. Yeah, I had just, it's sort of the I same. Was almost, I was with daddy too, and I was almost with mommy. That was in 2014, and mama died, I think it was on the 12th of, of 2014, and I had, I'd been up with her and everything, just like Brenda's been up with her mom, you know, and, and I came home to get some rest because I just barely could function. And then, then I probably got laid down for probably about like you did, three or four hours is all we, I had. And I don't I, even think it was that long. Then I got that call from you and I went back down there, you know, and it was too late, too too far gone. It's like, same deal with you, just sort of like, well, it's almost the same thing. Well, I figured it was because of this labored breathing like stuff that she was doing. It was really weird. Daddy was doing the same thing, <clears> but <throat> mommy was in good shape when I left. So I don't know if it was, you know, her heart stopped. Do yeah. about it. But anyhow, you was right beside your dad when he passed away, and I was sitting in the other room. It was a terrible thing. But. It's P.O. Box 35, Bent Mountain, Virginia, 24059. David's supposed to learn how to put it. He said he knew how, but he didn't do it. I've yet. done it, yeah, yeah. yeah. And All right. I'm not asking for stuff. All right, so, someone that wanted the P.O. Okay, now. No, there was something else. There was one more thing. I well, don't. I'll catch it on the next video if I well, find something else. Yeah, I mean, all the great cards, you got, uh, uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas and all the sympathy cards, it's it's, it's just been phenomenal, you know. Phenomenal? Phenomenal, <laughs> yeah. It just really has been been something else. Uh, so. Golly, look at that thing. I'm not looking up there, honey. Well, don't, because you're going to have to take that down so I clean it. Anyway, David, our video's an hour and a half now, probably. Yeah. That's okay, but it'll just take a week okay. to load. Okay, so we got a, another thing that we may do tonight, but it's going to be on a different show. What's it called? Onions or something? Uh, cornbread onions. All right, well, I'll let get off here, then I'll let you get geared up for that. My daughter loves them, so we, I've never bought my Christmas yet, and that's part of hers. Okay. 
All right, we, all right. So this is this show, then we'll have another one right behind it maybe here. Yeah. All right.